It's mid-March in California, which means tennis has come to Palm Desert. Milan World Team Tennis celebrating its 40th season this coming July held its 2015 player draft on the grounds of the Indian Wells Tennis Garden, home of the BNP Paribas Open. The event marked the 40th time teams will compete for the coveted King Trophy. A historic moment indeed as only four other professional sports leagues have achieved that 40th season milestone. To document this historic occasion, Milan World Team Tennis threw a launch party hosted by Emmy Award winning announcer Mary Carrillo, who held court on stage with a star-studded cast of talent, including Chris Everett, Roy Emerson, Lindsay Davenport, Andy Roddick, and lead co-founder Billie Jean King. CEO and Commissioner Ilana Kloss opened the evening thanking title sponsor Milan and all those who have been part of the storied legacy that started in 1974. The evening wrapped after many photo ops and shared memories with players past and present. The biggest news in the desert this week is the return of Serena Williams, playing in her first event here since 2001. She also made big news in the Milan World Team Tennis Draft, returning for the first time since 2011 to the Washington Castles. Teaming up with her sister Venus and fellow Grand Slam champions Martina Hingis and Leander Pays, Boston and Philadelphia will most certainly have their hands full. If there was a weakness in the departure of longtime teammate Bobby Reynolds upon his retirement last year, that hole was filled with the addition of Sam Query. The Castles are once again a daunting opponent in the East. The Lobster's answer to Serena and the Castles, Eugenie Bouchard. The world number seven was the Lobster's first pick and the top selection overall in the draft by any team. Making her Milan World Team Tennis debut at age 15 and with two seasons under her belt, she comes to Boston ready for the challenge with a completely revamped roster, including former Lobster Arena Falcone, French Open mixed doubles champion Scott Lipsky, and a new coach in Jan Michael Gamble. Boston is sure to make their presence known this summer. As the third and final team in the Eastern Conference, the Freedoms come into the season with three of their four roster players returning, including the 2014 male MVP and world number three doubles player, Marcelo Mello and rising US star, Taylor Townsend. On the West Coast, Andy Roddick is back for his ninth season and second with his hometown team, the Austin Aces who drafted a pair of their own aces in former NCAA champion Nicole Gibbs and current top 100 singles player Tamaraz Gabashvili. The San Diego Aviators have a new logo and a new look for 2015, adding this year's Australian Open semifinalist Madison Keys to the mix. Pairing up with 2010 Milan World Team Tennis champion Kaveta Peschke in doubles and 2014 Australian Open finalist Raven Klassen in the mix. Aviators are already thinking about a return to the Western Conference Championship. Moving back to Northern California is the newly named California Dream. Formerly the Texas Wild, the Dream bring back last year's female rookie of the year, Annabelle Medina Garriguez, Milan World Team Tennis standout Asan Qureshi, and draft the other part of the 2010 Women's Championship team in Yarmila Gajasova. Add to this formidable roster the world's number one doubles team of Bob and Mike Bryan, and the dream certainly aren't dreaming when it comes to competing for a title. The final franchise in the West, and perhaps the most dangerous, is the Springfield Lasers. League finalists in 2009, 2013, and 2014, if not for the Washington Castles, this team may have three King trophies to their name. Anchored by returning Laser Tour veteran and Milan World Team Tennis men's singles standout Mike Russell, and joined by top American John Isner, acquired in a trade from Boston, Springfield brings in top 50 WTA Tour player Ali Risk and a pair of talented Germans in Andre Begeman and Annalena Grunewald. Along with longtime coach John Lafty de Jager, quite possibly the Lazers' best weapon who always seems to get the most out of his team, this team may finally have what it takes to claim their first King Trophy. May 6th marks the date of the first World Team Tennis match 40 seasons ago. Game changing, groundbreaking, and innovating throughout the decades, Milan World Team Tennis has solidified its place in the tennis landscape. 
who will win in 2015 is anyone's guess, but the road to the King Trophy begins again July 12th.